97.7 QLZ's Third String Morning Show. My guest is best known for A Perfect Storm, Lady in the Water, Clueless. You're going to be able to check him out later on tonight, part of a new sci-fi original series called Happy. Welcome to the Third String Morning Show, Joe Reitman. Joe, how are you? Hey, I'm all right. Thank you so much for having me. Let's talk about Happy real quick. I've I've been actually kind of excited for this show. I actually thought it was a movie at first, and I got more excited to realize that I get to enjoy this chaos on a weekly basis now. Eight weeks of happiness. Yes. I mean, Happy is uh, a series based on a comic created by Grant Morrison that was published by Image Comics. It's a graphic novel. Uh, it's being directed by Brian Taylor, who directed Crank and Gamer and this movie called Mom and Dad that's coming out this year. It's the story of Nick Sachs, played by Christopher Maloney. And Chris plays this guy, Nick, who is a cop who turns into a hitman after being disgraced in the force. And when he becomes a hitman, he has this near-death experience. And after his near-death experience, when he comes to, he wakes up and finds this blue kind of flying donkey unicorn pegasus imaginary friend sitting on his chest that's voiced by Patton Oswald saying, you got to wake up, Nick. We got to find Haley. And uh, he thinks that he's hallucinating, finds out that it's an imaginary friend of this girl named Haley that's been sent to him to help find her. She's been kidnapped by a very, very bad Santa Claus. That's a schizophrenic crack smoking Santa Claus. And that's <laughs> being played by yours truly. <laughs> well, so how much um, prep goes into playing a uh, crack addict, bad Santa Claus? <laughs> Well, you know, first you have to get a bunch of crack. Okay. No, All that's right. not true. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> a lot goes into it because you have to really kind of like think about what made him crazy, what puts him outside the box. Uh, is he really schizophrenic? Is it a condition? Is it what he just believes? And, and there's also some other mystical kind of like otherworldly stuff that goes along with the Santa as well. I put on some weight and ate a lot of food, which was not a bad part of the job. <laughs> you know, tried to work out as hard as I could to get strong because Chris Maloney is a tank and a strong dude yeah. and had to go toe to toe with him. And then uh, honestly, listened to a lot of Christmas music and covered my fridge with a bunch of like kind of like inspirational photos of everything from kind of like presents to imaginary friends, weird reindeer pictures. <laughs> That's kind of what I did. To crack cocaine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Christopher Milani, of course, we, we know him from his cop drama days. He can be a funny guy. Do we get to see that in Happy? You do. You know what? This uh, character is kind of like as far away from Stabler on uh, SVU as you can get. And there is a lot of comedy in Happy. One of my favorite things about the show is that Happy, obviously, is this animated, kind of friendly, playful character in this dark, seedy world that's New York City. So it's, it kind of takes like that zippity doo dah feel and sticks it in the middle of, like, you know, Manhattan. And I think that's really what makes the show super cool. And yeah, and Chris plays the comedy perfectly. I, I think his uh, level of humor is perfect for the show. He's willing to get as dirty as he needs to. At the same time, he gets to be like kind of like silly at times, but his timing is fantastic. So yeah, he's very funny in the show. And you mentioned that's based off the comic, which may immediately maybe turn people off because there could be some superhero fatigue right now with all the Marvel movies and DC movies. But Image Comics over the 2000s was really known for developing solid stories. Look, you're a comic guy. That's great. But yeah, you know, it's not as superhero driven as it is story driven. You know, if you deal with comics kind of like The Walking Dead, you know, that's mm -hmm. a comic, mm -hmm. but it's obviously not a superhero comic. It is something that's kind of like otherworldly. And this thing falls in kind of like in that category, I'd say. Now, with uh, with your resume, a very impressive resume, you've done a whole lot of everything. Have you been in a, a pure superhero uh, production of some sort? No. I mean, I did a short years ago where I played a superhero, but it, no. As far as like something that was pure superhero, I have not had a chance to do anything in the Marvel or DC universe yet. Oh, it's not happened yet. yet, but I'm working on it. All right. All right. Is there anybody you're targeting? Any character, bad or good, that you would like to play? Oh, my God. That is a... Uh that is a loaded question. You know, here's the thing. I would have said Deadpool, but Ryan Reynolds does <laughs> such a good job, I think, with that character. Yeah. I wouldn't even bother with it. But no, you know, th there isn't a specific superhero that I've always wanted to play. I've always been a big fan of Spider-Man and luckily had an opportunity to write a Spider-Man comic for Marvel. And that was probably, for me, even more important than actually being Spider-Man was actually being able to kind of like create that, which is always a dream of mine. Oh, yeah. Um, a creative yeah. control over Spider-Man? That sounds amazing. And no pun yeah. intended. No pun intended. I promise. The Punisher was my favorite superhero growing up when I was younger, and I'm thrilled the, at the Marvel series. I mean, uh, I don't think they could do a better job. I, I really love what they're doing. With so, it. so you finished uh, the Netflix Punisher series then? 
No, I have not finished because I've been busy. I was working oh. on the show, and it came out, and I've been doing press, so I haven't watched the whole thing. Have you seen the whole thing yet? I have. I finished it this weekend. Oh, my. Is it awesome all the way oh, through? It is easily my favorite Marvel Netflix show to date. I had lunch with Joe Quesada in New York. For those of uh, the, the listeners who don't know who he is, he's the editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics. And mm-hmm. Because I was, tr- I've been trying to work my way uh, into the universe, <laughs> so <laughs> as I should, honestly, I really right. want to be there. Why yeah, not? but uh, yeah, of course. But we, yeah, we had a long talk about Punisher series, and he said that he the same thing. He felt like it might be the best thing they've done. So I'm really excited to get all the way through it. No spoilers, but prepare for your jaw to drop in episode 12. That's all I'll say. Oh, that's so exciting. (laughs) (laughs) So good. Last question, because I know you're on the media rounds this morning. We've been having a big debate on the Third String Morning Show this week. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes, it's 100% a Christmas movie. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) It is. I don't think there's a debate about it at all. Yes. You know, uh, it's centered about the idea. If you're going to say, like, you know, uh, like office Christmas parties. Uh, yeah, you know, it's the same idea of anything else. It really does focus on the idea of, of being around for Christmas, right? Well, good. Uh, and, and happy is the same way. Happy is very much that way, too, except obviously there's a really bad Santa Claus. That's the big difference between those two things. Probably don't watch with <laughs> young kids is what you're saying. No, no, it's not appropriate for children. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Do not watch with children. Do not. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, they're never going to let me on Disney or Nickelodeon again after people see it. <laughs> well, uh, you had a good run, I guess. But um, <laughs> so socially, if people watch Happy, they love Happy, they want to talk about Happy with you, where can they find you? Well, uh, I'm at Joe Ugly on Instagram and Twitter, so feel free to tune in there and say hi. Or uh, on Facebook, Joseph David Reitman. Just come over and uh, and say, Ola, I'm there. I'm always around. You may be Joe Ugly on social, but you're a beautiful person to me. Joe Reitman, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. 97.7 QLZ. Anything that rocks.